Toxic love is when your trauma is the oxygen for your relationship. Oh! <laughs> right? If you, if you think good. about the word, like the idea yes. that your trauma is what you're breathing oh into the relationship. Gosh, that is so true. Right? You're just breathing your trauma into the relationship. So you bring all your baggage, all your insecurities, and you're somehow expecting the other person to inhale it all <laughs> and then figure out how to respond and react. Right. Whereas a conscious relationship is saying that I have these things, I'm trying to heal them, I'm gonna make my partner aware of what I'm healing mm, because yeah. I'm not fully healed. Yes. And now that they're aware and I'm working on it, we can also work on it together. Mm. So I think we've also had this unhealthy idea of conscious love being, you're fully healed right. and then you come, it's like, that's it's not true. Journey. It's a journey and yeah. so, but the thing about the journey is, are you working on yourself? Have you communicated to your partner what you're working on so that they can be aware? And thirdly, have you found a way to get support? I had a friend whose uh, partner was addicted to porn and they came up to me and they were saying that their partner feels shameful and guilty and wants to work on it. And I said, you have two choices. You can either leave them because you don't believe them and this affects you negatively, which it was, or you can stay with them and support them through their journey because they want to change. It's and, not that you're forcing them to change. And they're honest about it. They're coming to you about it. They're exactly. vulnerable. Yeah. They're vulnerable. They're open about it. They're honest about it. And what I found in that scenario was that that person was able to support their partner. And now they have a really healthy relationship. But the thing is that we can't also... We, a toxic relationship is also when you use someone's trauma against them. Mm. So someone's been vulnerable with you about what they're struggling with and now you use it as ammunition in an argument to shoot them down. Yeah. And so when people are vulnerable with you and they're honest with you and they're transparent with you, don't use that against them because basically you're saying to them, don't be honest with me. Mm. And I think that's this really interesting thing. We all say, I want someone who's honest. But then when someone says something honest that's uncomfortable, we say, no, 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 I don't want your honesty or I don't like that. And I think you push the other person away. Yes. And so, yes, if it's really, if they share something that's really not aligned with your values, of course you can leave yeah. and move on. But chances are, if they're opening up about a journey they're on, it's worth giving it an opportunity to support them if they're 100%. serious about it. I love your definition of toxic love versus conscious love. And when I was hearing you say this, I was thinking that conscious love is also wanting to take emotional responsibility and accountability for emotions. Mm. As opposed to saying, you made me feel this way. You wow. said this, you wow. didn't do this. And it made me explode on you. Mm -hmm. It's having the emotional responsibility to, to manage it. And if you aren't good at managing it, saying I take full accountability and I'm working on that healing journey.